it feels like we've been in a cave for the last two years and just came out. Um, you know, obviously we did some things in the fall. It wasn't obviously at all the same. The spring felt a little bit more normal. Obviously other people were playing and, uh, you know, we had 10 practices and we, we, we put the pads on and we did tackle a little bit. We haven't done it uh, to this point. We had seven practices in, in camp so far, but unfortunately, um, you know, due to some uh, equipment malfunctions, we haven't been able to do a lot of the things from a physical standpoint in terms of uh, you know tackling one another um, at this point and that, that hopefully is going to happen next week. And other guys just chomping at the bit for that right yeah, now? Yeah I mean you know there's only so many times these last three or four practices have been geared more towards the pass game and you know defending the pass and you know it, it's fun but it's not you know it's not the way the games play this is not we're not an operation that's going to throw it 80 times a game unless we have to um, but I don't think we're going to have to do that so we need, to, we need to be able to um, obviously see who can hold up, who can play physical, and you know, that'll take place in the next two weeks. So, I mean, we brought in a, a fair amount of transfers, but you know, um, we brought in a young man named Kelvin Apari from Harvard. I mean, I can just tell right away, I mean, he's, he's got the physical tools to be a, a really good football player in our conference. Um, we brought a young man named Chizzy Uma Umanwake, um, from Towson, and I know I, I said that incorrectly or um, pronounced it incorrectly. <laughs> Inside linebacker uh, Everett Wormley, wide receiver from Rutgers. So we've had we've got a couple additions here and there, and um, you know Ronnie Abdul Aziz, another uh, transfer from Rutgers in the secondary. So we brought in some some pieces, some extra pieces, and uh, they fit in really well to this point. And that was the key because obviously when you bring guys in from another program, you want to make sure they're they're a good fit for the for the guys you have here. And I think we I think we have that. Shuffle, shuffle, oh, Let's go. I need your eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Get your snap and give me your eyes. I think the biggest thing that we've talked about is, um, you know, one of the nights we practiced, the lights didn't turn on. We went to 7 to 9, the lights didn't turn on until about 8.30. He figured it out. Um, it's going to be like that during the season. Guy, um, you know, you expect a certain coverage all week long, and then they play something different. Um, guy gets banged up, you know, in a walkthrough the day before. And then you got to put another guy on the guys who got to be ready to play. So you got to be ready for anything in this game. And, you know, after doing this for 19 years, I've, I've learned that there's always something that is going to surprise you. There's going to be something that comes up that you weren't prepared for. So that's what we talk to about our players. We control what we can control. And, uh, you know, obviously we do the best job we can to prepare them mentally and physically to get ready to play a football game. Yeah.